All right, so here's the truth and the deal. Give me the harsh truth. We already filmed oh, half right. of episode one of the next season. But we, should, we have to redo it because it didn't get it, right? Yes, and confusingly enough, it's, it's not the second season. It's still the first season. But t a lot of time has passed, and I look different, and I dress better, and I finally decided to get a stylist and a hairstylist. You did? <laughs> yeah, I finally, like, I definitely started paying Laura, my stylist, to help me pull together looks. And I started having Jess Jones, the talent producer, like, doing beach waves every time I filmed. Oh. Before, I was responsible for everything. I had to do my own hair, makeup, styling, everything. People always ask that, like, for the hills and for the city, if we had help. We didn't. Do you want to do something with your arms, or are you going to just keep them right there? I'll fucking meditate. Wow, look at those buildings. They look fake. Meditate on the buildings. All right, here we go. Welcome back. I just meditated. <laughs> <laughs> so episode 15, Sleeping with the Frenemy. You want to come back and work for us? You know, maybe work like five, six hours a day and then just work on your line and I'll consult on it for you and get it up. So now I was working part time. See, look, blowout. You look great. Blazer, normal clothes. Just very making me sick to watch it. This, off the show. this look, the plaid and the jean shorts is very like moving into my apartment yeah. for the first time. Everything was going great, but an old friend from my past was about to come back into my life. Ooh. <laughs> Roxy. Roxanne, you don't have to put on your red dress. Um, have you heard of me, bitch? Roxy Olin's here to see you. Okay. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Fucking smiley bitches here. That's a cool lamp. I never noticed that. Oh, LA has weather. We have life. Mm, you're so wise. You When's your birthday? November 5th. Oh, you're a Scorpio. Yeah. That's very interesting. I'm a Scorpio. You are? Yes, I am. Ah, yay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not sure what significance that has, so I'm going to do this. Right? Ah. <laughs> so, were you friends with Whitney? Yeah, we went to high school together. I know Whitney is here and in fashion, which is shocking, but it's great. And Why is it shocking? Yeah, what's because up? You know, plain Jane, she like wears yellow and didn't care about fashion at all or else it just didn't look like it. And are you friends? She didn't, sh that's not. <sighs> maybe, it, maybe it didn't look like I cared about fashion, but I definitely cared about fashion. I just always was unique and people didn't think it was cute, but. Well, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we always have gotten along pretty well. That's fashion. I mean, yeah. yeah. If she's constantly smiling, it might get to me. People think I'm kind of a bitch, but I just think I'm a straight shooter. Do you think, like, I mean, you and Rox, explain. Okay, so Roxy and I went to high school together. She was a year younger than me, and we also dated best friends. So we knew each other, but we, we were kind of like we always loved each other like we got each other like spirit sisters but she was always in a really fast lane like she i think she'd be okay with me saying this but she was like experimenting and doing things a lot sooner than you, i was you guys had different groups of friends like yes you were brought together because you were dating because we were dating best friends and we were in dance together and so dance is really what brought us closer together but you like, guys liked each other do you think always she's playing anything up here just for I, a tv show yeah like i think the smiling thing you don't even smile that much i don't i don't know let's not have a whole therapy session okay. <laughs> drive me crazy bins in love like a new machine How much music, how much B-roll, how much streets, cars, lanes. People. Oh, Olivia just appeared as if from nowhere. Statement necklaces, still a thing. Uh-huh. Thank you so much for coming up. Oh my god, thanks for calling. This almost never happens, but we actually have an opening. No way. Yeah, we have something opening up in the accessories department. Is she even looking for a job? <laughs> She's just like, I'm, I thought we were going to go to lunch. Yeah. 
Oh. I thought that you would actually add a lot to the magazine. I would love to. Okay. I, I would love to. What's the job? When do I start? Oh, and it's like full-time shopping. <laughs> isn't that really the best? Isn't that the best deal you can keep? Except for you can't keep anything. I love you to meet Erin Kaplan. She's a I don't think he's like completely serious. I know, but it's like people think that job's so glamorous, but you can never actually wear it. Except for he, Josie did give me a pair of shoes once. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Aaron. There's someone in my office I'd love you to meet. Are you busy right now? Sure, okay. Okay. No, I think you guys would really, really hit it off. That's nice. Olivia's like, are you aware that I hate people? <laughs> and she's really risen up the ranks, and sometimes I feel like I'm working for her. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to meet her. I love Josie. Louboutin spikes. V neck, t shirt, dress. Hair blow up blonde. I, think I don't like this walking. <laughs> this is Erin Kaplan. Hi. She's the head of our publici nice publicity to meet you. department. How Olivia. Are you? Olivia's decided to take the position here in the accessories department. So, like I was telling you before, Erin is a huge, huge, huge part of this magazine. Every time you see our magazine mentioned on TV, Ooh. yeah. I mean, I'm sure the editors were like, only use the previous mm -hmm. looks. Mm -hmm. I know all my friends have been raving about like every month we go through all the magazines seeing what looks great that looks great so what did you do uh, uh, Joe's like Aaron gets the magazine on to like TV and other places and Olivia's like we look at it and I'm, like it <laughs> so can you participate in the conversation no incapable no. have you worked at a magazine before I have I worked at Quest magazine Interesting. <laughs> What's Quest magazine? Quest is um Cuz Aaron really was like that magazine sucks. I don't really know much about Quest. Ooh, there you actually. Go. But um I was going to ask you a question. Was Olivia ever bitchy to you? Um uh, like Olivia was so like temperamental with the producers that I never dealt with her. Like it was always top priority so Spike would deal with her like Adam or Bill, yeah, like the people who were really in charge would deal with her. Uh huh. Um, but she was like bitchy to the crew as a whole by like she was always late. Yeah. Like she, she didn't like take the time to like say hello or like get to know anyone. She didn't respect what everybody was doing. No, I think she really had like an adversarial relationship with production and like the show. You know what I mean? Yeah, she I think she... her role in the show. Yeah. She knew what they were trying to make her into. Not, Why did she do it, it so much? She was just fighting against it the whole time. I guess she now she has a big yeah. following and platform for everything she's doing. Right. Being on a TV show is good for people. To, yeah. yeah. They do it right. Mm -hmm. It was really Thank nice you. to meet you. I hope to see you soon. Sure. She's like, can you close the door so I can fucking scream at Joe? <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> I think she probably thinks she's a little more qualified than she actually is. And going from PR to an accessories editor is a huge leap, and I honestly don't know if she can handle it. Yeah, but I think she's a great eye. How do you know she has a good eye, Joe? She talked about. Ooh. Yeah, Where's she looking? Look also, who's the boss yeah. here? I could never talk to my boss like that. They feel privileged at times. That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about that attitude here. That she's going to feel privileged. Yeah. Do you think she's going to be able to go get someone's coffee in one day and then pull accessories for a yeah, story? Yeah, I think she's going to have to. If she can get past the attitude, then I'm game. And we'll have to just really sort of break her in. We'll break her in, all right. Oof. It's like we're talking about two different things. Yeah. Does um, Josie remind you of Peter, our contractor? <laughs> That's such a good call. <laughs> Whoa, crazy gothic tights. Sanctuary tea, my favorite place. It's around the corner from people. In Are we both? Right? Yeah. Sorry, I cut you off. That's all right. You know, we're all human. I like when you use your hair to tie your. You know, I like that. I want to design, like that's what I really want to do. And Kelly offered to help me, which is great. It's going to be fun being here. You're single, right? I'm totally single. How fun is that to be single? It's so fun. And the boys in New York are so... Did you hook up with I've... anyone, like in between Jay and this point? Uh, are you deciding if you're going to tell the truth? No, I'm thinking about, I hooked up with an ex-boyfriend. Um, what do you mean by fun?
I feel like I was thinking about you when she was asking me these questions. Ooh, like, I think I was already, yeah, I think I was already starting to like you and be into you at this point. You already had a crush? I already had a crush. Because Roxy knew all about it. Roxy was one of the only people that knew. So hot, and they're not so sure. much better. They're not like four and we need three. tall men. And Are you talking about me being tall? I'm not that tall. I never thought you were that tall. You're taller now than I remember you being then. Sitting down. You gotta get your own place. I I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh no, Roxy. Like where you would stay. How pretty I'm is like, my color hair? I feel mm. like I need to sleep on somebody's couch. Mm. Can I sleep on your couch? <laughs> I knew that was coming. You knew that was coming. I'm like, hit it. Yeah, if you needed somewhere to stay. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh. The movie roomies! <laughs> oh. why, why have two people tried to move in with me in six months? Because they couldn't think of new story beat. <laughs> Twice a year we do a feature in the magazine where we pair the very, very high with the very, very low. You know, a $3,000 watch, bangles with a $9 Hanks t-shirt. Oh, I like that. <laughs> the two things that I need your help with are pool party, mm -hmm. which bathing suit, cover up, um, beach bag, and office wear. Okay. The trick is to get pool party under $25 okay. and office wear under $75. And then this is head to toe. So It's pretty, pretty easy to do now. Fast fashion like wasn't really a thing at this point, so it was a lot harder to find. There was no like Zara. Yeah, it was just coming out. This is it. It's very colorful, but listen, so very I'm very Whitney. <laughs> Screams Whitney. <laughs> Buddha came with me. Yay! Is that bedazzled? What? <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs> Crazy. You're like, bitch, I'll kick you out. I can't believe I actually did that. Though. <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking? Oh my god, I love it here. I know. We could have a party. I would love that. Really? Well, the, the problem with this place is that um, they don't like loud music past 11. Like the first night I was here, I did that. I had my music on, and I already got like a letter from the board of directors. So you're familiar with letters, right? <laughs> the shape. What kind of music was I playing? And what was I doing? And who was I with? What was it, what was I you're doing? Up with your ex-boyfriend, listening to Jack Johnson, being a complete slut. No, I didn't hook up with my ex-boyfriend at this apartment. Yeah. I remember everything. <laughs> Oh, let's see how you did, Olivia. Is this it? Yep, this is it. Olivia's like what? already prepared for like, she's like, if Aaron gives me any shit, I'm gonna fucking kill her. Yeah, she's on edge already. These are size eight. Aaron's. <laughs> yeah. She's about to internally combust. Did we make the budget? We did make the budget. Um, the $25 thing was, impossible to do so I got this I was thinking we did make the budget but $25 is possible so did you or did you not it's kind of a simple question you confused <laughs> just answer my fucking question okay so do you think anyone over the age of 25 and bigger than a size 8 would wear this to work yeah with a cardigan sure I can't say wear this but Maybe you should also buy this and this, and you have this in your closet. Well, that's in up the, for someone else to determine, not for you to determine. No, but we're doing this segment telling them what you can do for $75, and this, and then saying throw in your own stuff, isn't $75. I mean, give me a break. A well, point. both of us were there for quite a long time, and there's really not a lot to choose from with our budget and what they have to select. So if you have a problem, you can go back and do it yourself. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm doing my job. Okay, no, no, no. I get it. No, I, no, I get it. And just... How many morning shows have you worked on? I don't need to work on a morning show. That's not my job. That's not my It is your job to pull accessories if I ask you to. So that was really inappropriate. I mean, I don't think I've ever been okay. spoken to. This is not okay. This, this is it. Shocking. Shocking. 
shocking, Olivia. Seriously. You know what? I it just feels like they were already, they already hated each other at this point. Like it escalated really, really fast. Well, she's taking her mic off and she's like mad at the show. Yeah. Shocking. Watch the door. Oh. Shocking. I don't need to fight with you. That's ridiculous. Well, maybe if you didn't start it, it never would have happened. Well, maybe if we had a normal conversation, it would work. Oof. Bickering. How awkward did she feel? I'm starting a Mumbino shit, right? That's the saying. Don't what? We'll talk about it later. <laughs> I'm gonna go. You look nice. Thank you. Yeah, you look you hot. Too. I'm going to a little get together at my house, actually. My oh, apartment. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting dressed up at the the office to go to my house for a get together. Also, no one ever says like, "Where are you going?" Like, I'm, I'm going to a party at my house. <laughs> like, I'm having a party. I'm going to my house where there happens to be. A party. I'm not eloquent. Okay. Hey, that's not true. Oh so my god, when did that happen? To, well, sh since she's been out here, she has no place to go. She's looking for a place. Wow, I'm gorgeous. Yeah, you look great. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> You're like, you are. <gasps> Damn it. Be young. No. I think that she's great. Mm -hmm. I think that all the ingredients there are awesome. I think mm -hmm. she has a lot of confidence. So. Well, let's just do it because I would like you to be able to skip out of here for three or four hours a day to go mm. work on that collection. I hope so. Okay, so. I'm confused. I think. What is Roxy's hire? Like she's taking over for you? Yeah, you she's. To work on her collection. Yeah, she's gonna free up some of my time. It's so preposterous. See you later. I'm going home. I'm sure everything will be fine. Is that the hottest you've ever looked in the, in the show so far? So far, yeah. Is he, are you tan? Yeah, I'm tan. Fake tan? Um, no, I was like walking a lot in the city. Whenever I wasn't filming, I was walking. And then... <laughs> a lot of walking. <laughs> a lot. Um, <laughs> because I wasn't working out. I was just walking and my hair was... It's my hair, too. Thanks, Jess Jones. All your friends, uh -huh. they treat you as nice as you treat them. <laughs> Is this wow. my party? Uh, yeah. Who are, who the are those people? Who are people? I don't even remember. Oh Andrea. Andrea. Yeah. Oh my God. Jordan Passman and Sean Bassar. Why are they in New York? Sean Bassar, your ex-boyfriend. From high school. I did not hook up with him. At all, ever? No, yeah, but not here at this party. Oh my God, I'm showing up my own party. Oh, that's the story. What? That like Roxy's throwing a rager at my house when I didn't realize it was gonna be as big as it was. And I'm supposed to be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I must have known that person. Roxy, what is going on here? I'm like fake upset. Idea. Don't we pretend like the cops come? I think so. <laughs> Claire, will you hand me a cup to get Winnie some drunk juice so she stops tripping? I'm drunk juice? Jungle juice. I do not remember this episode. Let's get you a drink. Oh my god. No, right? No. <gasps> yeah. They came. Please, Roxy, you go deal with them. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Do you want to like want to? Oh my God, Claire. Everybody, I have an announcement. Thank you guys all for coming, but we have to leave because there's some cops here, and so I'm sorry, you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Bye, you guys. Thanks for coming. Get out of here, Sean. With that, <laughs> you're going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> NBC Midtown East, that's the neighborhood. This is really exciting. And we're back with today's style and summer. Is that Hoda Kotb? Mm hmm. And Bethany Frankel. Oh, no. Be frank. 
to news director Ann Slowey. Hello, Hello. Ann. How are you? This is a great segment. I think it's a good idea. What? <gasps> She's trying. She said this is a say? great segment. It's a good idea. And what did Aaron say? Aaron says, mm-hmm. She's so pissed. <sighs> You guys were great. Thank you so much. And we'll be back right after this. And it's like, yes, we did it. We took it out of his book. Right? That was big for them. If we had more time, I think I would have started to work on the Old Navy look. I think it could have been a little bit better, but... Oh, the, the gray? Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, you have to think beyond your own what looks good on... I don't mean you. I don't know who pulled that look. Um, Olivia. Okay, well, yeah, and she's dressed head to toe in color, so obviously she's thinking of herself and like what would look good on me, which does exactly. not an editor make. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Telling it like it is. She's never going to go from assistant editor to full time editor. Mm, which does not an editor make. I remember that line. Interesting way to structure your sentence. I like it. I like it. I'm cutting out. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Okay, cool. I'm gonna pretend you don't exist. Ugh. Ooh. Erin's like done. She's not gonna get, she doesn't wanna give her any ch more chances. No. Mm, poor Olivia. Yeah, feel bad for her. Yeah. I just pick my nose. Don't use She's it. good at walking in heels. Can't take that away from her. No. Um, I enjoyed that episode. Um, we had a rager party. That didn't seem real. It did not seem real. I, I hope that, like, people are a little bit easier on Olivia next episode. I'm starting to feel sad I, for her. I feel a little bit sad for her. I feel like she's tried to extend an olive branch. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you liked that episode, too. Let's watch the next one. Same clothes. Go. Go.